Hi there. In this video, I'm going to just start by downloading some terrain data, so it's height information, uh, to start a series of videos uh, all about 3D in ArcGIS Pro. And actually from there, I'll then um, go into um, sort of online apps and sharing apps with 3D data um, using ArcGIS Online. But to start with, I'm just going to get 3D going inside Arches Pro with some uh, downloaded data from this site. So it's some UK data, it's LiDAR, as you can see, it's one meter. So this is the DTM, so digital train model, um, rather than the surface. You know, if you look down from above and you see the tops of trees and buildings and stuff, you're looking at the surface uh, sort of model. Um, and what I want is that all to be kind of scraped off and just have terrain so how the terrain looks um, in terms of height. So that's that's what I'm after. Um, and I want to use that as 3D in ArcGIS Pro. So I'm going to just click on, um, I'm going to download some data. So this is a map you can use on this um, UK website. So I think I'm going to draw my polygon in that sort of area. Look, you see it's got a quarry up there and stuff. That looks interesting. So let's draw a polygon. But um, 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 but um, I think we'll just do that. There's probably a feature somewhere to actually select the tar, but whatever. So let's go for this 51SC. So let's go 51SC because that looks interesting. One thing about look, we could just download all of these and use raster tools to to create mosaic, create a single raster, all that sort of thing. But just for quickness and you know quickness sake, um, and and in terms of um, processing and what I'm demonstrating, I'm just going to use one um, raster download. So that's gone into that folder. So that's 51SC. Let's extract that to here. You can see the usual raster stuff appear. There's the world file, it's geo-registered TIFF, uh, this this one meter height uh, data, uh, and there's various mm, bits of metadata and geo packages and vector defining the, the, the area, um, the, the, the polygon that the um, tile is, and um, and the auxiliary the XML files just contain data about uh, how it's created, source tiles, all that sort of thing. But again, like I said, that's not of interest at the moment. Okay, so so here's ArcGIS Pro. If we were just to add this um, and just go to that SE, um, it says where's the SE one? Oh, we need to. Yeah, I've done stuff. It's, yeah, it's a bit annoying that, isn't it? It 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 kind of doesn't. As soon as you click on a folder, it doesn't actually immediately fresh and that's why I've got re refresh there. I knew that SE was there but um, anyway it's a little Esri thing. Um, so I select that one meter DTM, uh, press OK and of course this is 2D it builds the pyramids and stuff and there, there you go. Uh, it does look interesting already because this is real sort of black patches there which is probably sits the edge of our quarry so that looks interesting. Don't, don't look like Color scheme, though. I'm always a fan of making stuff stand out more. Oh, I was having a good think then. Hold on. There you go. Uh, so the dark green you see is, is low and the red is high. Uh, but th this is 2D, like I said. You know, I mean, we can click and get the vector data, 75 point whatever meters. You know, so, uh, and, and that's fine. But the point, point of this video is 3D. Now, the way the way we turn this into 3D is really under the insert, you go straight to a 3D kind of world. Now, a global scene is all about something that's that's you really want to um, have some large scale 3D visualization, and and it's so large that actually Earth's curvature could could come into play. Um, and you've got a geographic coordinate system and stuff. So, so that's really what, what the two differences are. That it's, it's in the name. And local is you're dealing with something very, very local, you know, maybe city wide or something, you know, you're using um, a projected coordinate system. 
and and it's just a small localized area and and that is all i'm interested in so rather and that's you know so rather this global view i'm just in, interested in a much more detailed analysis and actually that will give you greater accuracy as well so so if we click new local scene what this will do is add to the project a you see the tabs appeared up here now it's called scene so we've got our original map still but now we've got what will just be a basic um, scene uh, and you can see it's it has our, has our map oh this looks normal but if I hold my middle mouse button down I can see it in 3d you see and I can twist it and do all kinds of stuff so um, but if you look down here, you can, um, I'm not interested in the world topographic. No, sorry, I am interested in that. What I'm not interested in is the uh, 3D data on the ground that they effectively um, supply. Uh, I'm interested in my 3D data, which is my terrain information that I just downloaded at one meter. So it's good stuff. Um, so I'm going to add that um, DTM into this. So this is my height data. But you see it's gone into the 2D layers. Actually what that is, is my elevation surface. So I'm going to drag it onto the ground, uh, it, onto the ground elevation service, uh, surface, um, a bit of this uh, tree, this sort of content tree. So so what, what actually does that mean? Well, first of all, look what's happened to the world map. It's been cropped, it's been clipped. Because my only area of interest is what we had back on the map, which was that stuff. And actually, I could, I could add it in 2D as well and still still display if I want. But I want to keep the map simple. So what, what, what does that mean? Well, immediately it means we've got a 3D view of our map. And if I zoom in like that and hold my mouse and move it I will get a 3d view and you see how the it's overlaid the world um, map data and if you had like the OS data and stuff like that you would you would see it and you can see uh, I've got a nice clip of a quarry here I mean if if I'd um, brought together a few tiles you know and uh, um, mosaic them together I would have a proper f sort of full um, quarry but I just wanted to do one because um, it'll just do things a bit quicker and etc and it also demonstrates it quite nicely so I'm using the middle mouse button to drag around I'm using the right mouse button uh, right mouse to and then moving the mouse forwards and backwards to zoom in and uh, and if I hold left button you get a little pan um, hand uh, icon there mouse pointer and it just moves it I actually quite like this view so if you click on this little um, uh, heading um, uh, this see it says show full control sorry so that full control because then you can sort of control from this and you can and it's just a bit easier I, I mean I, I quite like this sort of method to rotate around the um, viewpoint and stuff so um, but you, you know that's that's up, up to you so the um, so now that um, we've got our three D data in there, and indeed it doesn't. I know we've got a base map of this, but why not change the base map? Let's go to hybrid, or actually, what about imagery? And look what happens. So we're getting a pretty cool um, sort of three D view here coming up of this. Um, I'm particularly zooming into this quarry, but I don't have to let's look at the top of it. So it's it's it is pretty neat. I'm, I'm sure you agree, and it's all in ArcGIS Pro um, and standard tools. So that's how you get your um, sort of three D view in ArcGIS Pro. So you need your source file, which you drag underneath Elevation Services. So your Elevation Services, um, your DTM, uh, or you know what whatever it is, and um, and in this case it's a GeoTIFF. I've, I've turned off the, the, the kind of world source one because I, I want to use my local one. Um, you can have any 2D layers on top, so I could, you know, I could add my layer of pubs or whatever from previous videos. 
and uh, and then you can zoom around and um, sort of do what you like really. So in the next video, I'll show some analysis tools. And I hope that helps you just to get started and get your 3D data into a nice display.